you should have known better uh, unless uh, 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 Isko Moreno paid the ANC and ABS-CBN. I'm sorry, I'm not uh, that pass. Um, Dr. Montemayor, we are not in the business of getting... Dr. Montemayor, in the recent presidential forum, you said, and you kind of touched on this a while ago, you said you were trending um, because of your pointed questions um, to uh, um, Mayor Isco Moreno, but you were trending in a in a not so good way. In that forum, you said that Bill Gates donated $15 million to Isco Moreno's campaign, and this has been proven to be false. Twitter user Yosoy Dominic asks, where did you get that information. So we have to ask Isko Moreno where did he get his uh, information. He himself, uh, in a in in one uh, in one uh, instance, uh, well, uh, my my source says I will not reveal at this point unless there's a court order. He said that he received 15 million from Bill Gates. He did not denominate it, whether it is in dollars or even in pesos. That's why my pointed question, and it is not true that I trended uh, in a negative way. No, I trended in a positive way, and people are still discussing that. And they, they are not discussing about BBM, Lenny, Robredo. They are discussing about me. People def defended me because that is an issue of corruption against Isco Moreno. And because Isco Moreno paid a lot of media, no? they uh, they uh, overturned the discussion that uh, I was wrong. No, I was correct. Even if you will, uh, uh, well, the fact checker of Facebook, the fact checker of uh, YouTube, uh, they themselves realized that uh, I am correct. Uh, How did you be correct when the donation was for um, the city of Manila's water and sanitation and hygiene project? We all know that the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, or this foundation is really entrenched and immersed in hygiene and sanitation projects. And the donation to the city of Manila was precisely for that. How can you say that's because of corruption? That, that, that is the opinion of media, but the opinion of the people of Manila, where are the toilets? Are you built... Uh, for example, if this is in pesos, are you building? Go uh, are you are you constructing gold toilets? So the people of Manila, especially the one thousand pastors in Manila, they are asking. Uh, by the way, they they are backing me. All the one thousand pastors in in Manila and city of Manila, they are backing me because I filed a case for the for them in in behalf of them at the uh, uh, against the city council of Manila. Uh, uh, for the Novax, no right. Uh, but if you will look at their toilets uh, constructed and what kind of toilets that you will build when you have 15 million, for, for example, uh, for the sake of argument, it is denominated in pesos. Then the question is, uh, where are the toilets? No, the, the people in Manila are asking, where are the toilets? Uh, Dr. Uh, Montemayor, the question really was, or at least your statement was, that Bill Gates donated to his campaign, and now you're you're not saying that anymore. You're saying it's it's all about the sanitation project. So which one really was it? Really? And also, yeah. Doctor Montemayor, you said that it was all over the papers, but now you're telling us that sources have told you about this. So which one should we believe? Well, uh, if you will just research, especially you are in the media, you should have known better, uh, unless. Uh, 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 Isko Moreno paid the ANC and abs -CBN. I'm sorry, I'm not uh, that pass. Um, Dr. Montemayor, we are not in the business of getting paid. I am personally insulted by that insinuation. We can go on with this uh, interview. We can leave um, uh, this, this topic aside and move on. But let me tell you, that is not an insinuation that I will take lightly. This company okay. is not in the business of getting paid. This journalist that you're talking to right now has never been or ever will be paid by anyone to well, ask uh, that or is, not that ask is... any questions. Okay. Let's move on. What kind of leader will you be if you believe in fake news, Dr. Montemayor? Well, uh, well, uh, is that a personal question? It's a question. Well, uh, I, I am a good leader. As, you have, uh, I, as I have told you a while ago, that uh, I have led in a lot of uh, organizations. And these are two organizations. These are uh, organizations 
that mean a lot to a lot of people. So with that kind of uh, leadership, I think people are ready for that, especially in these uh, abnormal times. These times are uh, these times are uncertain times. We are in, still in the pandemic times. We are still in these uh, times wherein uh, people are not certain about their life, their livelihood, and the kind of future that they will have. Dr. Montemayor, in that same forum, you said you're pro-labor, but you were also questioning Kaliodi de Guzman about um, how he thinks, or if he even thinks, of the employers. Ang sabi po niyo doon sa inyong sinasabi sa pagtaas ng wages, parang kinakagat niyo ang kamay na nagpapakain sa inyo. How can you claim to be pro-labor with a statement that is so anti-labor, Dr. Montemayor? Alam, okay. Salamat po sa tanong, ano? I thank you for that. Uh, well, uh, uh, and this is a matter of clarification. Alam niyo po, naging abogado na ako na hanggang ngayon, I have kept pending cases against employers. Now, I represented uh, 100% laborers, unions. I represented also the ordinary worker. But also, we have to think of uh, our micro, small, our small businessmen. These are also Filipinos. And they were affected uh, vigorously. Uh, by the kind by this pandemic, so in this kind of situation, uh, we have to think not only on one side but also we have to balance it. But uh, that's why we have also go negotio. We have to defend also micro, small, and medium enterprises. So with that kind of situation, I love the Filipino worker, but I love also the ordinary small uh, uh, companies that we have. Uh, the uh, the uh, especially the ones that are uh, engaged in exportation of our products. Dr. Montemayor, you frown upon religious groups endorsing candidates claiming separation of church and state, but isn't it true that the Constitution speaks more about this, what the state cannot do rather than what the church is prohibited from doing? What do you tell people who watched you then and said, here is a lawyer with an incorrect understanding of the Constitution? Well, salamat po sa tanong. Ano. Uh, the, uh, this, is not, uh, this is not selection. This is election, meaning you give individual uh, people, individual Filipino uh, people, their kind, their choice. Do not uh, any, any 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 coercion, even if it is mild by religious groups, is coercion. And uh, through freedom, we should leave uh, one individual uninfluenced by any anything that is uh, detrimental to our. Uh, to our uh, election, to our uh, freedom as Filipinos. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. At kung hindi nyo pala papanood ang iba kong videos, nandyan po ang previous videos at my suggestion. At huwag po ninyong kalimutan na i-click ang subscribe button para updated po kayo sa aking mga ilalabas. Hanggang sa muli, bye bye